This isn't shocking information. In fact, we've all been waiting to see when Ariana Grande or Dalton would file for divorce, and it finally happened. Image, reputation, done. Child, this just adds more to the timeline of events of this love triangle with SpongeBob. It's just, oof. Ariana Grande has finally filed for divorce from her ex-husband Dalton Gomez. This comes after she's been living with her new married boyfriend Ethan Slater for months. Since the scandal broke, they've been trying to stay low-key. But now that Ethan and Ariana have filed for divorce, everything's going to change. So let's get into it. <laughs> Ariana Grande has been super low-key ever since her cheating scandal involving her husband and Ethan Slater and his wife, but things have progressed and we need to talk about what's going on here. So Ariana and Dalton have finally filed for divorce, and you guys know we've talked about Dalton before on this channel, and I don't think they were a match from the start. Ariana is in fact dating Ethan Slater, who has filed for divorce, we'll talk about that in a moment, but she and her husband been Dalton Gomez have finally officially filed. What's interesting about this case is that they both filed for divorce against each other. For example, remember Britney Spears and her ex-husband Sam Asghari? He initiated the divorce by filing first, but these two filed at the same time and they didn't include any infidelity or any clues to why exactly they were breaking up, even though we all know at this point. Ariana Grande is following in her boyfriend Ethan Slater's footsteps because she has officially filed for divorce from her husband of two years, Dalton Gomez, and he's filed too. We're told everything was worked out before going to the courthouse. Sources say Ariana will cut Dalton a check and that will be that. As for why it took so long, apparently a source with direct knowledge tells us the two took their time to iron out details and settle. Our sources say there are no hard feelings. They've been really caring and respectful of one another every step of this process. And now that everybody has officially filed for divorce, Ariana and Ethan are clearly still going strong and I say clearly to be funny because she's still liking his posts as of two days ago so one would assume but also because it's being reported that Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater are living together but I do wonder how that works with Lily as I'm sure she probably does not want Ariana around her baby but who's to say it seems like it took them a long time to file because they had to work out the contracts. And by contracts, I mean prenup. Actually, the date of their separation is February 20th, 2023. So they've been separated for most of this year. This report writes, as for why it took so long between the date of separation and the divorce filings, a source with direct knowledge tells TMC that the two took their time to iron out the details and settle. Our source says there are no hard feelings they've been really caring and respectful of one another each step of the way which uh i don't think the like cheating public thing with ethan slater was very respectful but okay especially for lily J. I i mean she is ethan's wife and his high school sweetheart they have a kid together who they just had last year they've been married for what like five years at this point so they were really deep in this which is why i find it so surprising like what spell does Ariana Grande have to which she can just like steal these women's men? I mean, he filed right away back in July when we started learning about this, when they started going out and about together in public, he filed against her and they were over. Supposedly, he wanted to have an entirely clean slate when going into this relationship with Ariana. We actually don't know the reason for why he is divorcing Lily. Like we know the reason, but we don't know the technical legal reason. I mean, I'm assuming he's not gonna be admitting to the infidelity. And he's probably trying to keep the peace with Lily J because they just had this kid together and supposedly he really wants to co-parent. So they have agreed to that, which is kind of interesting because he is supposedly living with Ariana in New York. So is she gonna be a stepmommy to this baby? Oh, about a month ago, this image was taken in London. And it says Ariana Grande in the center celebrates her 30th birthday at Soho Farmhouse with a new boyfriend, Ethan Slater on the right, the redhead, um, on June 27th. They were also with a friend, but that's besides the point because remember this image was taken, they were spotted at the retreat a few weeks before like the entire relationship went public. Now remember, Ethan's wife at this point still doesn't know. But guys, that's not even the worst part. You wanna know why? Not only were they spotted by like onlookers who were also at the retreat that were confused at how touchy-feely they were being at their like little breakfasts, 
But it turns out this is just Ariana's like place to take her guys because this exact little retreat that her and Ethan were staying at, guess what? She took Dalton to a few months prior. So Ariana takes her ex in London to this retreat and they spend a nice time together. Basically scopes out the place is like, oh, I really like it here. Hmm, why don't I take my new guy? And then this man has the audacity to call out his ex-wife by saying like, oh, we just want to like co-parent and be like healthy and stable for a child. After she released her statement saying that she was surprised by the entire thing, caught off guard by Ariana, called Ariana out on the entire thing. Like, why are you backtracking? It's just all messy when you think about it. And I can't imagine Ariana wanting to take care of Lily J's baby whenever he's asking for half custody. But since this all broke and hit the news, they've kept it all very low key. Probably because Ariana Grande's likability and her reputation were at risk here. I mean, I don't think a lot of us really appreciated seeing her you know, ruin this marriage. Not that it's her fault. It's also equally his fault. People don't really like him either, but she's, you know, so popular. So everyone knows who she is. So everyone has an opinion. Ethan, he kind of can like, you know, just sneakily move through this without getting a lot of attention. He's just not as popular. And that's how he's been able to move in with Ariana and file this divorce and just leave everything behind. Supposedly, he's got a new Broadway role because he is a Broadway star. So they're living together. And I mean, at this point, when we learned about this, Ariana hadn't filed for divorce yet. But, you know, they both did that together and broke the news. They report Ariana and Ethan have taken their relationship to the next level with the dangerous woman singing are now living with her Wicked co-star in New York City. Ariana and Ethan are said to be stuck together after their secret romance was made public, preventing them from returning to their respective marriages. Hmm. I mean, that doesn't sound good. So, like, they had to stay together because they both ruined their previous relationships. Quote, Ariana is living with a married man right now while she's still married. A close friend to the situation told Daily Mail, ooh, Ariana, you need to check your close friends. Quote, it seems as if Ariana is holding on to Dalton in case things with Ethan don't work. It is just so strange that she's living with Ethan and has not filed the documents to end it with Dalton, which I am actually not that surprised. I mean, we know now she did file them, but I really do think she's probably trying to protect her money even though you know Dalton has his own money and he comes from money she still wants to protect her empire so she probably wants to take her time and figure out how she can manage to give him the least amount of money so there's a lot going on here and I hope that Ariana and Ethan are happy I mean I hope it was worth it and their relationship lasts for a long time but either way I mean, clearly their previous partners weren't the right one for them. So let's just let them go through life and figure it out and find what, you know, what's out there for them. Because clearly they weren't happy if they could easily go and just cheat and leave their kids behind and all of that. It just sounds awful and it looks bad too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.